Well, if we look at where the money for landscape restoration comes from now, according to a study done by the New Climate Economy Group, we need $250 billion a year to restore degraded landscapes for developing countries. We are getting $25 billion, about a tenth, but 60% of what we get are from the domestic resources of countries themselves. So my firm belief is that ultimately, whilst we might want to have donors funding this restoration, ultimately the money will have to come from the resources of the countries with degraded landscapes themselves. So the question we need to ask ourselves as an international community is how do we support these countries to raise more of their own domestic resources such as they can, use those resources wisely to leverage private sector resources that can then scale up the interventions for restoration. I think those, that's the direction in which we need to go. I think they're available, maybe not on the scale we, we would like, but some resources are available. There are some impact investors willing to go for the long term and willing to go for reasonable returns. I think we should start there first, and then we'll see after what more we can do. But let us at least start with those investors. Well, in the sense that there are more studies that show that landscapes could add 15 to 35 percent of what is needed to get us to a two degree centigrade pathway for climate change to maintain where we are and not get the situation worse. To the extent that that is the, is the case, then landscapes are becoming, and landscape restoration is getting more prominent attention than it used to. But is the conversation where we need it to be yet? The answer is no. I think we're still quite some ways to getting the kind of realization among policymakers. So we need to push. We need to push that conversation. What I'd like to see change is more discussion uh, um, among communities because it all starts with them, and if that conversation is not being had with them, they suffer the consequences of any degradation. They are part of the degradation. They suffer the consequences more when other actions beyond them also degrade the landscape. So it needs to start with them um, at the local level, and it needs to filter more conversation with policymakers.